Hi friends, welcome back. This is the long awaited grocery haul video that so many of you have been asking for. And I recorded it uh, when I had been on Trim Healthy Mama for two or three weeks. It's now been somewhere around the five or six or maybe even eight week mark. I'd have to look back through my notes and I'm really loving it. I feel amazing. Um, some strange, mysterious rashes have disappeared. My joints no longer hurt. Um, this has been my first month without a headache in a long, long time, and I'm down almost 10 pounds. So it's been pretty exciting. I really love this way of eating, and I'm so thankful to my friends who have introduced it to me. Uh, I would like to make a few more Trim Healthy Mama themed videos for you. Those of you who have tuned into this channel for strictly homeschooling content, please stick around. You might learn something anyway. I certainly do intend to take a lot of this knowledge and incorporate it into, into a nutrition course for my 16 year old for a high school credit. All of my other girls took nutrition courses as part of their science requirements. And I'm really grateful that we did that because they now have tools when they go to the grocery store um, when they're on a tight budget, when they're maybe in living situations where they don't have a lot of fancy equipment, where you've got to make the budget stretch. So without further ado, here's my first and maybe last grocery haul video. Headed home with a 15 pasture van full of groceries. Again. I want to carry a grocery. You want to carry a grocery? Yeah. Let's find you a grocery to carry in, okay? Okay. Always a race for me to remember that I ordered a bunch of art supplies before the kids find them. Yes, we order school and art supplies practically every time we get food. Go put them in the bins. Cece, did you find a grocery? All right, go on in and color me something on paper. Okay, gonna attempt my first grocery haul video. And uh, I gotta say, hats off to you moms who do this all the time for your channels. I, whew, this is a lot of work. Okay. I've gotta find my receipt to tell you how much I spent on all of this. And I'm gonna break it up according to food and non-food items. The large family budgeting gurus, of course, um, have taught us that we ought to aim for $100 per person per month. And I, I do try to get close to that most weeks. However, um, if you saw one of my previous videos, you know that we've started Trim Healthy Mama. Um, my husband has joined me. And uh, that caused me to buy a few more convenience items than I normally would. And of course, we have a bunch of non-food items over here. I don't want to talk to you about these a little bit. I watched a video recently by a a wildly popular mom who does a lot of grocery haul videos. And she brought out this enormous package of forks and said she doesn't understand where they go. They must go into a fork vortex. And she was speaking my language. I can't tell you how many times I have asked if all of the forks are going into a fork vortex. And it made me feel much better. So I thought there's probably other moms out there who constantly have to put things on their list like forks and cups because, oh, toothbrushes, because you find them behind the toilet and you think there's just no amount of hydrogen peroxide that's going to make me okay with my child putting that back in their mouth. And, um, you know, disposable items that we're not going to feel guilty about. We're just not going to feel guilty. 
And I thought some other mom out there probably needs to see that she is not alone in replacing this stuff over and over and over. I wish I could figure out where it all goes, but I can't. So I just keep buying it. Okay, let's talk Trim Healthy Mama specific things really quick. In a nutshell, Trim Healthy Mama calls for you not combining your fuel sources. That is, you can have carbs, you can have fat. You're just going to try not to combine them if you're trying to lose weight. I was pleasantly surprised when I read through the book for the first time that a lot of these things uh, we were already eating a lot of, and I just had to make slight modifications. Uh, one of those things is coleslaw. I buy this every week. And in Trim Healthy Mama, they have a great recipe called egg roll in a bowl. We've always just called it stir fry because we're not imaginative. And what we do is we saute this up with some onions and garlic and sometimes some Asian spices, maybe some coconut aminos, some soy sauce, that kind of stuff. We will either top it with a fried egg or more often a ground chicken. Kind of pricey, totally worth the convenience. Um, it's a big hit in the family. That's something that we have eaten for a long time. For the kids, I'll add rice or rice noodles. Uh, for my husband and I, that'll just be uh, for my husband and I, we'll just eat that the way it is. Another Trim Healthy Mama mainstay, of course, is riced cauliflower. You can use it to replace rice. It's the magic ingredient in many recipes. I really like this 2G yogurt that only has two grams of sugar. And I believe it's very low fat, too. Let's take a look. It doesn't say. Laughing cow cheese. Oh, mamas, this stuff is delicious. It tastes like cream cheese. But it's very, very low fat, so you can use it in a lot of recipes. Of course, a wide variety of veggies that we're just going to saute up, add to things. Onions, zucchini. If you're Gordon Ramsay, you call it a courgette, which makes it much more exotic sounding and gourmet. Green onions. I top nearly everything with green onions. And then, of course, you take the roots and pop them in the garden and they regrow like magic. There were way more bananas here. When I brought them in, the kids got to the pile and it disappeared almost immediately. One third fat cream cheese, magic ingredient in a lot of things. And for me, I bought that primarily to make icing for the carrot muffins. We'll do a beef stew with this. I will pull a bunch of radishes from the garden for my husband and I. They cook exactly like potatoes, hard to tell the difference, but of course no carbs. The kids will get potatoes in theirs. Bags of apples, bags of oranges. The green apples are really for me, they're lower carb. And one thing I love to do with those is actually fry them up in some butter with cinnamon. Use a little bit of low fat cottage cheese and wrap them in a crepini which is basically just a crepe made of eggs. I don't have any to show you, but that's a really delicious treat. Um, oils that we use a lot would be avocado oil because it's got a really high burn point and it helps to add some flavor to meats. Light tasting olive oil, salmon. One of my favorite e meals is a salmon filet with no skin and just some garlic and lemon juice and brown rice and some steamed veggies. Wonderful email, very filling, very low fat. Knock off LaCroix, of course. Who can get through a hot desert summer without something that resembles soda? Now I'm annoyed with Walmart because I bought myself a cauliflower pizza for pizza night and I think they forgot it, but I do have the kids pizza. Other convenience foods, don't tell my mom. Nobody tell my mom. I got tater tots. Really great for those mornings when nobody wants toast. Shredded lettuce and the romaine hearts and iceberg lettuce. I, I know that's a lot of lettuce, but I swear I use it all for different purposes. So I would use this iceberg and the romaine in wraps. Of course, I'm going to use a shredded lettuce and like a... Um, a Mexican bowl kind of meal, like a taco without the shell. 
I'm going to have to ask my expert friends who've been on Trim Healthy Mama for years what I can do with sweet potatoes. I love them. They seem high carb to me. Maybe I'm wrong. I'm going to have to ask. Low fat options for when I need a snack or a quick lunch would be string cheese, turkey breast. I bought the kids this pancake mix. It was a healthier option than others. And I have um, a keto pancake mix from Birchbender. So on those mornings when I get to have a pancake, they're going to want to have pancakes. And I didn't want to share my birch vendors, so I got them that instead. Not all of our choices are the best. Sometimes we just want snacks that the toddlers love, right? So this with some peanut butter is a mainstay snack for my toddlers. Of course, we have your standard chips. We buy salsa by the gallon. I don't think those are allowed on Trim Healthy Mama because they actually have more fat than I expected. However, I hear there is a brand that's baked that you buy from Amazon by the case and it's like 60 bucks or something, but it's worth it. I have not yet taken that leap, so no chips for me for a while. Uh, of course, ketchup and ranch are like major food groups around this house. I won't be eating those because this has sugar, this has MSG. I'll just have other options. White vinegar for cleaning, that should probably go in the uh, non-food pile. Oats are another Trim Healthy Mama mainstay. They're used in a lot of the baked treats so that we're not using white flour. This is the brand that the Trim Healthy Mama authors recommend because it has no sugar and hooray for house brands. Olives. I don't have a plan for these folks. Honestly, I just pictured myself sitting and eating jars of olives. I'll probably throw these on the tacos. And another quick, easy convenience food, Trim Health and Mommy Friendly, would be um, this canned chicken breast because it's low in fat. And I did indeed gather a bunch of stuff hurriedly from the table, throw it in laundry baskets, and hide it so you can see it. I forgot to mention a couple other um, helpful items to get on Trim Healthy Mama. One of those is Pasta Zero, which is uh, cone jack noodles. These are carb-free. They appeared on an episode of one of those medical shows in which somebody died a horrible death. And thankfully, I don't make decisions based on medical shows, so I ran out and bought some. It's delicious. We love it. And lean ground beef for those e-meals when you need some protein but you don't want extra fat. You want to make sure it's at least 93% lean. And if you want to take even more fat off, you can rinse it under very hot water. So those are a couple more Trim Healthy Mama mainstays. Of course, you can't go wrong with plain avocado for a snack. Grapefruit slices sweetened with monk fruit instead of sugar. We really like these. Sometimes they'll sprinkle chia seeds on top. While many Trim Healthy Mamas do give up dairy, I was thrilled to learn I don't have to, and I can stick with my heavy whipping cream to add to my coffee, as long as the breakfast I'm eating is an S. I normally buy Lily's brand chocolate, but they were out, and I thought I would give this brand a try. This is Bake Believe. It said that it was keto-friendly, so I'm assuming that is safe for Trim Healthy Mama and I look forward to trying these. This obviously is not Trim Healthy Mama. This is what you buy your kids so that they will leave your Trim Healthy Mama yogurt alone. Easy Kill Bread. There are a few brands of um, sprouted bread that are allowed on Trim Healthy Mama, and this is my favorite. I've actually eaten it for years. I was really happy to find that it's on plan. If you have anything to add, maybe you are a long time Trim Healthy Mama. I know some of my viewers are and you have some advice to offer me. I am so happy to take it. Or if you have questions, please drop them down below. Happy homeschooling, happy eating, have a happy summer. Till next time.